member of President Trump's cabinet visited West Lafayette today and spoke on one of the most pressing issues Hoosier farmers are concerned about. U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue covered everything from the trade war with China to the president's threat to shut down the southern border while at Purdue University this morning. News 18's Trevor Peters reports why Purdue is optimistic a deal will get done, but why it could take a while. U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue spoke at Purdue University Tuesday in the midst of the ongoing trade war with China. Purdue says he understands the anxiety among U.S. farmers about the war because it's their families' livelihoods at stake. What I've told the president before is that farmers are true patriots, and they are, and they're some of his biggest supporters, and they've been very loyal, but it's difficult to pay the bank with patriotism. <laughs> Purdue says the roadblock right now is that China has not lived up to its commitments. It's like a big marriage. You've got to, you got to understand what's expected of each one and how you fulfill that commitment. He's optimistic a deal will get done because the two sides are still talking. And this is the number two guy in China. This is a emissary uh, that President Xi has sent here uh, that can speak for him. Purdue also addressed President Trump's proposed shutdown at the southern border during his hour-long conversation with Purdue President Mitch Daniels. He says he would like for it not to include agricultural trade. That may be wishing for too much. There is a crisis at the border. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Democrats continue to want to ignore that. And before leaving the university, the secretary rolled out an idea Daniels and the crowd seemed to be on board with. He says a mentorship program between older and younger farmers could be the fix to a lack of young people coming back to the farm. Or groups of people uh, creating little uh, uh, clubs here, maybe centered around uh, uh, Lafayette, Indiana there. A group of farmers that are in that uh, latter years that may not have a, uh, a uh, relative that they want to hand the farm off to. They may be just growing their potential buyer for their farm. It's a solution he hopes will help farm families survive. Farming is a risky business, we know that, but again, uh, you can't expect young people to go into uh, for passion uh, because they love the lifestyle of farming if they can't feed their family that way. At Purdue University, Trevor Peters, News 18. Well, Purdue also stopped by the WFI studios for a live interview on News 18 this morning. You can watch that full interview with Purdue linked to this story on WLFI.com.